What have we got vampire rats in here now? Something keeps biting my candles. Who who keeps biting my candles with the and why would you want to eat the oh <clears throat> didn't realize we were on. Hello and welcome once again to the Library of Horror Hotel. Boy, buckle in, creepy cheapy mask lovers and Halloween fans. It's an amazing invention tonight. Let me let you in on a little bit of code I picked up in the human world. If you're stuck on Earth like I am at the present time, uh, it's good to know the, the phrases and the code words. And if you hear people say a certain code word, it's good to know what they really mean. So if you're out with a bunch of humans and you think of something funny to say, you think of like a a witticism, a little pun, a little joke, a little play on words, and it just kind of spontaneously comes out and you make the joke. And, you know, most of your friends around are like, ah, yeah, I chuckle, you know. But there's always that one guy that's looking at you like, and, you know, and he'll say something like, that was a dad joke. What was that, a dad joke? What are you making, dad jokes? I found out what that means, dad joke. That... That is actually a, a shortened, abbreviated, shorthand way of saying, I should have thought of that joke, and I'm jealous that you thought of it. So I'm going to uh, debase and demean you and your joke because I should have thought of that joke. So I'm going to say things like dad joke. And, and, and I don't like puns. I never cared for, you know, that's... That's jealousy that you thought of the joke. Well, I'll bet a lot of the people in the mask world were feeling uh, like like that same kind of sour grapes when they saw this amazing mask. This, this is just an incredible thing. If it has been done before, it escaped my attention, which seems unlikely in the world of monsters, but holy moly, kids, this, this amazing product that's right here happens to be from the year 2022. And the creeps at Lord Grimley's Manor came along in 2022 with the incredible DIY pumpkin. Now, what does DIY mean? I know you're thinking, done it yesterday, or drowning in yogurt. No, no. What it means is do it yourself. It's the do it yourself pumpkin. And now, uh, why do I think that's a great idea? Did I mention it was from Lord Grimley's? Yeah. So everybody else who didn't think of this product can be jealous. I think this is just absolutely brilliant. How did this take until uh, 2022 for this to come along? I mean, I mean, why wasn't this available in like 1962? The great thing is you can make anything you want out of it and then you've got a pumpkin rubber mask that you can wear as any kind of pumpkin character. Now, these are about 60 bucks. It comes with, um, it comes with a piece of what they call blackout cloth, which is that sort of woven net uh, stuff that you can kind of see through, like they put in the eyes of Scream ghost face masks, and some uh, skull masks have it. It comes with a piece of that, in case you want to put that inside where you cut the holes out. And it comes with some stencils also. And of course, if you go online, you can find all kinds of downloadable stencils. And what would you make with this? Anything you want. You know, we're always being told these days, it's more choices for you. You get the options. You make the decisions. We're giving you more opportunity to choose. Most of the time, those are total bold-faced lies that mean exactly the opposite of that, and we're actually getting fewer choices. But in the case of the creeps at Lord Grimley's, this is a case where you really do have all sorts of options, and uh, the sky over the cemetery is the limit with this thing. You could do anything you wanted to with it. Now, it is a latex mask. Let me show you the whole thing here. It's a regular latex mask, and... Uh, if you're not familiar with uh, the material in latex masks, if you're not familiar with working with it, you can actually cut this stuff with scissors, which means if you want to cut a big hole out, uh, you, can, you can use, cut it like paper, cut it like scissors. But if you've ever tried to cut out um, a shape or a hole out of the center of a piece of uh, paper or poster board or something, uh, and I mean, like, instead of starting from the edge, if you ever tried to cut something out of the middle, you know that when you start out, you have to, like, jam the scissors through there and make that hole, and then you go and cut your shape out. I wouldn't do that to a nice latex mask like this because I wouldn't want to stress the latex or the couple of colors of paint 
that are on there that make it look so cool. So I would start with the smallest thing you can to start that, that hole in there if you're going to cut, cut, cut. I recommend what is called an X-Acto knife. That's a name brand, doesn't have to be their brand. A hobby knife, which is a little razor knife with a little tip. And of course, the cutting person would want to be very careful, but you could uh, draw on here whatever face you want. You could go with the traditional classic pumpkin with the um, triangle shaped eye and nose holes and the mouth that's either uh, uh, got like a couple of square teeth here and there. You know what I'm talking about, the classic jack-o'-lantern look. But you could also do all sorts of other things to this. You could give it hair, you could give it a hat, you could give it any sort of makeup or glued on appliances or additions or accessories. You could make anything out of this. And I'm thinking what a great fun project for humans who have kids, wouldn't it be? It just seems cool to me, depending, of course, on your kid's level of interest in Halloween and uh, costuming and trick-or-treating and stuff. How fun would it be to have this mask and, like, let your kid design what he wants it to look like and maybe you, the parent, could help the kid to do the, the you know, the dangerous parts, like cutting with a razor knife or something like that. You could help with that part, unless you're clumsy and inept and a fumble fumbling stumble bum and your kid is more coordinated and careful than you uh, but in most cases i would suggest the parent or an adult guardian of some sort do the sharp uh, sharp tool cutting kind of uh, aspects of it which you don't have to do any um, you could just use paint and and uh, use it as a prop if you don't want to wear it you don't even have to cut it you could just use it as a uh, as a, as a head on your scarecrow figure or other monster with a pumpkin headed figure. It does have the cut up the back just a little bit, but it's so big it doesn't really need to be cut way up there, which is kind of ironic because most masks are smooth in the back and require a great big line cut up the back in order to make them wearable. This thing has big vertical lines all over the place and it would have been perfectly easy to slice it in the back, but it doesn't need it. I should also mention that it has some blocks of foam rubber in the top so that when you put it on your head, it won't be, you know, down here. It'll fit you correctly. And of course, season to taste, because if it doesn't quite fit, you can glue some chunks of foam rubber, some sponges, some, oh, I don't know, folded up towel or something in there to make it fit your head better. But you could, you could give him a hat. If you want, you could cut the stem off and put something crazy on top. You could make any kind of character out of this. And it just seems to me like this would have been a traditional Halloween item since forever ago. And I'm amazed that it didn't come along until as late as 2022. Uh, and when the folks at Lord Grimley's had the breakthrough in the pumpkin patch that inspired them to come up with this very fun, fun product that is a uh, sort of uh, art project in itself. Express yourself with a rubber pumpkin. And you know, if you don't wanna just cut holes in it to make a traditional face, if you wanna do something crazier, but you don't wanna go as far as, uh, oh, I don't know, sending it to somebody like Laura Lady. Okay, there is nobody like Laura Lady. Sending it to Laura Lady or somebody else that's good with hair and knows their way around Halloween masks and having them glue hair all over it and make a wolfman pumpkin or a caveman pumpkin out of it. The possibilities are nearly endless. The possibilities are almost unlimited with the fun you could have with a plain rubber pumpkin mask that's wearable. And it's even got all this viney stuff you can stick down into whatever costume you're wearing with it. Um, fantastically brilliant product, I think. And again, if you don't want to go with just cutting out features and putting the uh, netting blackout cloth mesh stuff in there, you could do all sorts of things. I mean, for example, for example, if you just wanted to go uh, trick-or-treating or to a Halloween party as a mean old man, you could make him into a grumpkin. If you like baseball, if you like baseball, you could stage the Underworld series at your haunted attraction, and he could be the umpkin, right? Fix him up with it. Yeah, an umpkin. Every baseball game needs it. Okay, maybe you don't like baseball, or maybe you don't want to be 
the ump because nobody likes the ump typically. Uh, we could go another way. You could dress him up like a like a famous crime lord, like like a big city scary head of a crime syndicate, and he could be the godfather, right? Um, or you might prefer to go with something funny. Like, for example, uh, you could make a famous character replica out of him, a little white paint and a, a green wig on there and some lipstick. You could make Bat Pumpkin's arch enemy the Joker Lantern. Hmm? What about that? Or what if you like animals? Do you like animals? Who doesn't love animals, right? You could slap some feathers and stick a bill on there. All you need is a bill and have a quack -a lantern or if you're like me and can't keep up with the bills, maybe you don't want a quack -a lantern Maybe you want to put some uh, Tibetan ox horns on top and make your very own yak -o lantern which is one of my favorites. I like the yak -o lantern idea. I think that'd be a good one. Don't you? Oh, wait, he can't answer. He doesn't have a face. <clears throat> Uh, or you could go with ethnic uh, kind of themed characters. What if you fixed him up as a Scotsman? He could be, that's right, a mack lantern And if you want to uh, have some bagpipe music playing uh, while the mack lantern is walking around to sort of sell the idea of, of uh, being Scottish, don't forget to record it on Scotch tape. You could also go with something uh, simpler, something easy, like you could just make him look like a completely crazy person and have a wacko lantern. Why not? If he's a heavy smoker, you could just settle for that. He could be a tobacco lantern. Or I mentioned baseball a minute ago. Maybe you don't like baseball. Maybe your game is football. You could fix him up as a football player and, of course, have a tackle lantern, right? What would be wrong with that, hmm? And, or if you like me and you prefer monsters, put some uh, fangs and a cape on there and have a Draco lantern. Now, don't tell me that's not a stupid, I mean, wonderful idea. A Draco lantern, right there. Uh, or, or, or one of my favorites, uh, fix him up, look like classic Mr. Hyde from Robert Louis Stevenson, one of my favorites. Then you would have a Jekyll lantern. Surely anybody would like that. Uh, and I apologize for calling the audience surely before anybody uh, comments. And one of my favorites, maybe maybe my favorite idea, what if you fixed him up based on the ancient uh, artworks and interpretations of Anubis, the ancient Egyptian god of the underworld? That's right, you'd have an actual jack-o'-lantern. Can't go wrong with that. Or, or if he's a sort of uh, modern day character who perhaps digs for oil in ways that are uh, sketchy or potentially dangerous to the environment or irresponsible in the pursuit of the money earned by oil, he could be a frackle lantern. Sure. And he could even be, uh, you could use another one and make the frackle lantern's employee simply by adding some digging equipment and some drilling and earth moving equipment and have my personal favorite, the backhoe lantern. Sure, can you imagine? The possibilities are almost endless. Again, not all of them funny, but they are endless. So I highly recommend you go look up uh, Lord Grimley's and check this thing out and talk to your kids. And I realize if you have a lot of kids, like for example, nine, That'd be a lot of kids to buy them each a $60 mask for Halloween. But hey, if you're into uh, digging for oil, you probably have that kind of money, just pocket change. Uh, anyway, what a fun, fun project. And I think this is the first time I've ever endorsed a mask that basically had no face. However, I'm sure it's not the first time I've lost face. Good day!